Remember when we were talking about time? Time, that strange thing that's always with us, but you can't see it or pick it up, yet you can measure it somehow. And we were talking about how primitive man measured time. He took a glass jar and had Sandy the time camel fill it with sand halfway. Then, as the sand ran out to the lower chamber, it took a certain amount of time. Then if you turn the glass over, the sand running down into the new lower chamber would take the same amount of time. And that gave him a way to measure time. And he used it to measure the amount of time it took the sun to travel from noon on one day to noon the next day. He would simply turn the glass over after the sand ran out as the sun was going around the earth. And then he could count the number of times he turned it over. That would measure the time from noon to noon. And he and his friends found out that that number was about 250. Now primitive man had a new question. He and his friends knew pretty much that the earth was like a ball. So they wondered how far is it around the earth? Now, primitive man noticed that when the sun was directly overhead, the trunk of a tree did not cast a shadow. While when it moved on a little bit, it did cast a shadow. And the direction of that shadow was where the sun had been. So, primitive man decided to get on Sandy the time camel and travel in that direction to find out how far it was around the earth. But after traveling for a while, primitive man came to a large body of water so he couldn't continue in that direction. However, he noticed there was a tree by the water. But he'd also noticed that before noon, the sun cast a shadow in the other direction, and the two directions were in a straight line. So, primitive man got on Sandy again and traveled in that other direction to find out how far it was around the Earth. But once again, he ran into a large body of water and couldn't continue in that direction. But at least there was a tree. So the original tree lay between two bodies of water. The distance to each body of water was about 50 miles, or about 100 miles in all. So primitive man couldn't measure the distance around the Earth directly. But then he got another idea, which would help him find that distance. Let's find out what it was. <laughs> 